Mixed reaction on Capitol Hill to President Biden's new plan to crack down on skyrocketing gas prices. Lawmakers split on the White House plan to release one million barrels of reserve oil each day for six months and ramp up the pressure on oil companies to increase supply or risk losing their drilling leases. The president saying this could help gas prices go down anywhere between 10 to 35 cents a gallon, but many legislators are skeptical, including some within the president's own party. News Nation's Joe Khalil joining us live in Washington, D.C. Joe, you pressed several lawmakers about this on Capitol Hill today in the hallways. Do they think this will work? Uh, well, you know, that depends on who you talk to, um, Nicole. But what I can tell you is that Congress certainly isn't sitting on the sidelines of this debate. There have been a lot of discussions about how to address gas prices. Democrats, for their part, think that the plan you mentioned from President Biden, they can roll that together in one big strategy. Republicans that I spoke with today simply tell me they don't think this is going to work. And the bottom line is, if we want lower gas prices, we need to have a more oil supply right now. It's the latest plan from the White House to bring prices at the gas pump down, releasing one million barrels of oil per day for the next six months, and asking Congress to hit oil companies with fees if they have permits to drill but aren't doing so. Do you think that that's going to be effective? No, it's not going to be effective. It might drop oil prices temporarily. Reaction was split in Congress, largely along party line. Republican Congressman Byron Donald says the strategic reserve should be what its name suggests, reserve. For moments, the U.S. is unable to produce oil. It's not to be used to play around with oil prices. We have all the ability to pump it here in the United States. Joe Biden continues to block this. Other Republicans criticized the Biden plan to hit oil companies with fees, saying they're deflecting responsibility. He's trying to divert blame to anybody he can. You know, the president was not elected to be the friend of any company. He, he was elected to make policy that's good for the American people. But Democrats like Congressman Dan Kildee support President Biden trying to rein in oil companies. He says the plan to release strategic oil reserves could work to bring gas prices down if it's combined with other measures. Like, for example, I do support uh, the, the gasoline tax um, hiatus if it's paired with the state tax mm -hmm. hiatus. Suspending the gas tax temporarily is one idea Congress has floated, although even among Democrats, support is split. And Nicole, that's been, I think, the most talked about idea is potentially suspending the federal gas tax for a while. The concern lawmakers have with doing that is, let's say that they suspend the gas tax and it saves people 30 cents per gallon. There's no guarantee that oil companies would not then up their prices so Americans wouldn't feel a change at the pump at all. They, they obviously can't control what oil companies do, and that is a serious concern, at least moving in that direction. Nicole? Yeah, certainly uh, impossible to predict that. Joe, thank you. Yeah. All right, well, joining us now to talk, talk more about President Biden's latest plan is News Nation senior contributor George Will. Good evening to you, George. And, you know, we want to start with the impact here. What kind of impact will the president's plan have on the U.S. strategic oil reserve? And then overall, what type of impact can we expect, you know, short term and long term? The long term impact will be not at all. The short term impact will be, if measurable, minuscule and certainly fleeting. Here's why. Uh, Nicole, energy markets are global, very complicated, and notoriously volatile. So sorting out the effect of a minor movement, such as the president is proposing, is very difficult. When I say a minor movement, people are saying, no doubt, well, a million barrels of oil a day, gosh, that's a lot. Well, it's actually not. A million barrels of oil a day is what the American people use, a million barrels, is what the American people use not every 73 days, not every 73 hours, but every 73 minutes. So that's, this is a fairly small tweaking of an enormous American appetite for oil. All right, well, George, it appears that a lot of lawmakers agree with exactly what you're saying. They were saying the president's plan will not work. So what are some options that will? What is still on the table here? And, and will those options do anything to help Americans who are right now really struggling with these high gas prices? Well, the only short-term thing that can be done is to hope that other nations also uh, run down a bit their reserves and that this has a global effect. That's very hard to do. Long term, what we need and what the president knows we need and has said that we need is major production. The problem is 
that the Biden administration has been constantly saying that fossil fuel use poses an existential threat to the country. Now, that's a big word, and what it means is, the only clear meaning is, that unless we wean ourselves off fossil fuels in a hurry, there's a threat to the existence of life on this planet. So, at the one hand, you have this rhetorical dissonance, the, the warnings of the most dire sort, combined with the most urgent desire to increase fuel, fossil fuel consumption. In Chicago, where you are, the mm -hmm. city is planning to issue c cards redeemable for gasoline to be distributed by lottery to a fortunate few who will be, get these cards worth $150 worth of gas. Well, so George, this is a pretty bleak outlook here. You know, if there's really nothing that can be done in Congress that's going to make a negligible difference at this point, why are the lawmakers who say it will work, why are they making such a big deal out of this, which is, you know, basically ineffective solutions? Is this really all about political grandstanding? Because, of course, the midterms are ahead of us. It's an old axiom, don't just stand there, do something, and this is something you can do immediately. That is, you can have a press release and a press conference. It's called the Strategic Petroleum Reserve for a reason. It's to protect the United States from serious global strategic problems. It should be called the Politically Tactical Petroleum Reserve because presidents of both parties, equally guilty, have used this as a gesture to convince the public that they're doing something when there really is not much they can do in the short term. All right, News Nation senior contributor George Will, thank you so much for your time tonight. We appreciate it. Glad to be with you. Well, coming up later, we head to the Rush Hour Roundtable to talk about a new survey by the CDC. We will dive into how the pandemic has impacted the mental health of high school students. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.